Hi everyone, so in today's video I will be covering the part of OBD2 reader. So I have ordered this OBD2 reader from Amazon. Uh, there are various companies that sell OBD so you can purchase any one of them. And just make sure that your car has OBD2 port. Most of the modern cars do support this but if you have an old car do check it before purchasing. So let's connect this OBD port to the car and let's see what all features we can get. As you can see, uh, my car has the OBD2 port right behind the steering wheel. So I'll be connecting it and showing you guys. So once the OBD2 port is connected, you will see a red light will turn on, and then the OBD communication is successful with the ECU. Now it's time to connect your mobile device with the OBD2. For that, start the ignition of the car. Now, once the OBD2 port and adapter is connected, I'll start the ignition. In order to connect the OBD2 adapter with your Android device, you will need to start the Bluetooth. Then search for OBD2. So now my phone is already paired with it. The default pairing password is 1234. So now I'll just click on it. And then I'll start the Torque OBD app. Allow all the permissions it asks for, and then uh, your OBD will be connected. As you can see, there is a profile not set up warning, but you can directly connect this adapter and check all the fault codes of your vehicle. So, before that, you can see there is a revs meter where if i increase the revs you can see the value is increased accordingly check this out so let's check for the fault codes in the car So as you can see there are no fault codes in the ECU. There are multiple apps which support this OBD2 adapter. So I'll show you one more of them which has some unique features. So till then let's navigate through this app. So in real time you will get multiple meters over here. It will give you various uh, data from the ECU that is acceleration, revolutions, then coolant level and much more speed so you can set the units for speed and also you can add multiple meters now you can see here are some emission ready readiness DTC codes and now I am jumping up to the another app as my car is equipped with Android infotainment system so I have installed an app called real dash so here is it so it connects with the obd2 adapter and gives us various information so let's connect that and many of you must have already tried to connect it but might have faced an error while pairing it with the obd2 adapter so in order to pair that go to bluetooth settings and here uh, the device pin the default for android infotainment was four times zero but uh, for OBD2 adapter it requires 1 2 3 4 then only it will pair with the adapter so I have changed that and now I am pairing the OBD2 adapter now so I will just turn on the Bluetooth and click on search so here is it so I will click on it and connect and just I'll start the app so I usually use this app because it gives us a bit sporty speedometer in the infotainment device 
and it also shows the gear indicator in which the car is running so see as you can see I have used the Audi style over here OBD2 is connected over here and the RPM is reading just check so as soon as I give a bit of acceleration the, the RPM in speedometer increases as well as in the infotainment so here is the another view of the speedometer there are multiple views you can select from gallery so here is it so if you provide internet connection you can see all these are loading now so I'll just select this this is similar to the one for the BMW I suppose and this one goes for Mercedes style so you can select any one of your choice and you know you can set it as your default speedometer in the device so here is one view I will be showing here it is so it also gives you multiple information over here and it also selects the gear and this is the sports view for it uh, on the above part you also get the navigation screen so you can add the navigation you can check it side by side and that's how it works so torque obd is a simple app but if you use real dash you get a sporty look in your car this is your the default speedometer which your car gets and this is the new animated style speedometer which your car gets this is a short view of the BMW style speedometer so here you also get these modes whether it's sports plus comfort or eco if you put on eco the speedometer and tachometer changes accordingly if you put on comfort so the view changes and if you put on sports here is it so I personally prefer this view and the comfort one so these two are the basic views which I like personally and in this also you will need to set your car profile so since my vehicle is diesel variant the max rpm is 6000 rpm so I have set it accordingly and here you get the temperature gauge, fuel gauge and the distance covered by the vehicle and much more things so you can download the app and explore on your behalf so st stay tuned for more videos and thank you for watching